Man, so it looks like Joe Weezy is officially gone. I want some rest. Are we having fun yet? Joe Weezy camp is gone, and I'd be lying if I said I didn't necessarily see this one coming. Uh, it's unfortunate. But Joe Weezy is out the heezy. Um, now, before we talk about that really quick, if you guys want to support the channel, clan, the merch fan. Dot com. Thank you guys so much for the love on merch. Um, please go support your boy there. Uh, I already been, I already said this. I've been very transparent with this. I have some really big orders that I'm finishing up, but I'm basically done with them. Okay. Um, it was quite a few custom orders. Um, so still wiping those out, but they're just about done. Finally kind of finished up a couple of the really big ones. Um, but once I get done with those, I'll be able to catch up to the ones this past a uh, couple weeks so i really do appreciate all the love and if you guys want to support just be patient but uh get your order in man uh first come first serve that's how i do it around here all right so let's go ahead and talk about it um i actually saw noah post this first so he's the one that i'm going to shout out so the san antonio spurs have ways waved uh waved joe Wee's camp and like i said i i kind of saw it coming um as you guys know we already did a few videos on the preseason in which you know I jumped on and, and talked about how I felt about every single player each game and Joe Wieskamp was one that I actually was kind of afraid of um, and the reason being is because I did like him last season um, in the preseason I thought that him and Primo played off of each other very well um, I even liked the appearances that I saw from him um, in the regular season it was very few but we got to see a little bit and I liked him he looked comfortable um, his shot was a little slow, but it was a pretty reliable shot nonetheless. But unfortunately, and if we're just being completely honest here, unfortunately, we didn't necessarily get to see that um, in ooh, excuse me, the three games that he played. Even if we're looking at the stats here, um, he averaged, and it was, it was three in the preseason, averaged 10, about 10 minutes per game, uh, points per game, only two points per game. But the one thing, or the few things that matter the most is field goal attempts about five and he made less than a point of or less than one of them uh if if you want to just say it that way 0. 0.7 um now he attempted 3.3 3, three point attempts and he made 0. 0.7 so he shot 20 percent and i've said this over and over again the one thing that joe Wieskamp does well is shoot but it seems as if speeding up his shot did not help or at the very least, this small sample size that we got to see didn't help. And if you're looking at the team right now, obviously, Tommy, gone. Um, you look at uh, Alizé Johnson, gone, which I agree with this one after seeing his uh, performances. He just seemed off. Um, but yeah, it, it's who he was competing with. There was really no other option. Um, maybe KBD, but even then, it's like, well, do you 100%, are you 100% comfortable that Zach Collins is going to remain healthy for the duration of the entire season. You're probably going to need KBD to come in here and there. Or at the very least, if the Spurs wanted to do another trade, um, you can package KBD. And I was talking to Swish Hill about this um, earlier. Um, you, there, there's nothing that the Spurs could have did with Joe Wieska. The only thing that we could have did with him is just continued development. And he's kind of older <laughs> Uh, than a lot of the other players he's not a traditional second year player so it, it just it wouldn't have made a lot of sense um kbd he can at least be used in a trade joe Wee's camp no one would take him because they wouldn't know enough about him but um, i really hope that he does make it um in the nba it's just a matter of his shot has to be going down because he is kind of a reliability or liability that is um on the other end of the court and he, he can't he can't really do much else okay so i don't know I, I i really hope that he makes it but unfortunately it's just one of those guys that couldn't really be a underdog story as much as i wanted him to be um but hey it is what it is now this is what the roster looks like on opening day shout out to Noah again so we can see here dominic barlow um going to the g league as pop already said um jordan hall g league uh jeremy sohan is going to start which I believe he's the first rookie to start since Tim Duncan. Now that might seem like really impressive, but it's really not. Um, the the reason why another rookie hasn't really started other than Tim Duncan is because Tim Duncan's been with the team. You you get what I'm saying? You you get where I'm going with that? Like it, it's 
I, I don't know. I, I can't sit here and get overly excited that he's the first rookie to start since Tim Duncan because another rookie hasn't been able to start because of Tim Duncan. Like, we've had such a successful team till we really didn't have a reason to start a rookie. Now we're on a team full of young players. It, it was just inevitable that a rookie would more than likely start. Um, but, hey, that's a good thing um, that he'll be starting. Uh, Malachi Branham, Blake Wesley. I wouldn't be surprised if Blake Wesley goes to G League, but, hey, I could be wrong. Uh, Josh Primo. Um, probably coming off the bench, Devin Fassell, Trey Jones, Romeo Langford, Keldon Johnson, blah, 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 blah. So this is what the roster looks like. Um, not a bad roster by any means. Is there de definitely a developmental roster? Um, we're going to lose quite a few games, but at the same time, I, I think it's a good mix of vets and young guys. I'm not crazy about having vets on the team if it means that we can get some more uh, picks for the future. Um, and I'll be honest with you guys, Keldon Johnson is so mature. Devin Fassell is so mature. All these guys, pretty high character guys. I'm not going to go as far as to say you don't need a veteran at all, but you do have Mono Ginobili kind of hanging around the team. Um, so you have some good influences there. And then on top of it, I mean, all these guys being pretty mature as it is, you don't necessarily need a vet to you know, hold them accountable. It, it seems like they're going to hold themselves accountable, accountable, and that's all that will really matter. Um, but hey, nonetheless, look, as long as the Spurs are doing what's the best interest for our future, I am on board for on board with it. I'm not expecting anything special this season. Not expecting any like crazy, you know, win win games against like the Warriors and stuff. I, I'm not expecting any of that. Um, but what I do expect is to see some really special games from Josh Primo. I think we're going to get quite a few of those. I think Keldon's going to have, you know, a few games where he put up like a 30-piece and make people go crazy. And then on top of it, I wouldn't be surprised if even Malachi Branham has a, has a game uh, sometime this season where it just really stands out. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. Uh, Joe Weezy, unfortunately, he's gone. Uh, I, I really wanted him to work out, but hey. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Um, but anyways, you guys want to support the channel, clan the merch fan.com or become a patron YouTube member, only two dollars per month. I appreciate all the love. Until next time, uh, bye.